Hi guys, my name is Dr. Rocker and this is Lawrence <laughs> and this is the ultimate guide on how to draw comics. So take out a piece of paper, listen closely and watch the whole video, there will be a ton of important tips and tricks till the end. And if you should be new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you won't miss out on any future comic book content like this. I love you. But now, let's draw! The first thing you need to do is practice gesture drawings. Take your pencil very loose in your hand and concentrate on the basic shapes of your character. Those are also a great way to warm up and necessary to find the right pose you want to use in your comic book drawing. Once you found the right pose, take out your actual drawing paper, in my case a Strathmore Bristol 200 series, and sketch in the main features. I'm using a 2H pencil. This step is the most important one. Take your time and check for mistakes in the mirror. See if the proportions are right. If everything is where it belongs, it's time for all them details from the outfit. If you should possess a toy of the character you want to draw, use it. Those are great for reference because you can look at them from every angle. As you might have noticed, I'm drawing the spawn today and I will use this cute guy right here for reference. So let's dress this fella. Done with the sketch and now we have to decide where the light source is coming from. My main light source will come from this direction. Stick to one light source in the beginning. If you feel comfortable enough, you can use a second light source to produce a rim light as well. Now I'm sketching in the major dark areas. Since I will ink the spawn later, I will only do this very loosely, just to get a rough idea where the strong blacks need to be. Bigger areas I just mark with an X. So I know this area will be totally black. And I will also use a very small light source coming from here. And this one will produce a rim light here and here. And that's mostly because this will be very dark. And if this would be dark as well, it wouldn't look as good. Everything would be just black, that's not good. I want to be able to see everything properly. But you don't have to do that. You can stick with one light source, that's totally okay. And once you have decided from which direction the light will hit your character, stick to it, no matter what. When I will do the background later, I will do him with pencils only and there is a bit of a different approach, so you will see that as well. This was a lot of work already. But now the fun part begins. With this 0 0.2 fine liner I will trace all the most important outlines from the drawing. I will try to do this very loosely and not thinking too much of the line weight in this step. Because after I'm done with those thin lines I will fill in the strong blacks and then I will do the line weight. But to that we will come later. Now let's do some fine lines. Before I start with the line I tone down everything a little bit with the eraser. And that's the look I wanted to achieve with those fine lines. Now I use a brush pen to fill in all those strong blacks. Here it's very important to move the paper around a lot. And make sure not to smudge the drawing with all those black areas. And again I will try to keep it very loose. So let's do some strong blacks. When done with those black areas, I let them dry properly for a few minutes. This time I will spend with young Lawrence here. Look, who's this? It's our audience! Yes! Hi, say hi! Batman, Wonder Woman, Spawn, The Martian Manhunter. Yeah, I love you. 
Okay, and now I will add some line weight with one of my blue Tombow brush pens. The lines go thinner towards the light. And at some points they even are allowed to be broken up, like here, where the light hits the surface really hard. Yes, Lawrence, I know, you love your Wonder Woman. You see? That looks pretty cool. You can see the drawing looks already way better with the line weight done. And for the rendering I will use this Tombow pen in combination with my Micron fine liner. And you will see the hatching lines will bring this piece to life properly. Here it's also very important to move the paper around a lot. Try to find the movement which you are most comfortable with. For me it's pulling towards me, like this. But you can find this out easily, just take an extra piece of paper and then you do this, where you move away from your hand. Or then you do, you pull towards your hand, you can start thin and go thick. Or also the other way around. And you can try to do those fast or slow like I just did. Or you can use this movement. And you could also try this with a different pen, like the small one. And after playing around with this a little while, you will find out what's the best for you. Also, mind the shape of the form you are rendering. Don't just do straight lines. You can see it here, there's a slight bow in those lines, you see? Because the form of this muscle is round like that. Try to keep an even distance between your hatching lines. The distance might increase a little bit towards the light. When we're doing veins, only draw the shadow of the vein. That's called a negative space drawing. And we will also hatch those veins. This is really, really small hatching lines. But they really make the difference. Long hatching lines for rounder shapes. And shorter ones for more jagged ones. Like the kneecap right here. I'm also using a very, very small fine liner to do some really fine details. But it makes a difference. You should do that too. Now we're done with spawn. You can use white out like this Posca pen with acrylic paint in there to fix mistakes or you can also do stuff like that. So, time to use my freshly sharpened pencil again to sketch in the background. I want to draw the Violator. Great character. That should be fun. So, let's go. Same as before, I will do a loose sketch. I finished my background sketch and now I will tone it down a little bit and then I will start directly with the line weight. Even though they are not standing next to each other, I will still use the same light source. Otherwise it might look off. Sticking to my 2H pencil will make sure that the drawing will look very clean and there will be almost no smudging. After putting in the strong blacks, I will smudge them a bit. Makes the drawing look more smooth. With a freshly sharpened pencil, I will start the rendering process, do all the hatching, the cross hatching and all the details. For hatching with the pencil, you can do small oval circles and then hatch out of them. 
Or you can just do those lines without the oval circle at the beginning. That's also working. And you don't have to do them as fast like that. You can also do them slowly like this. And then loosen the pressure. They look very nice. And you can also do it in the, the other way around, from thin to thick, if you prefer that. Just play around a little and try to find what's best for you. The more pressure you use, the thicker the line will get. Same rules as with the inks. actually was the last step for finishing this piece. All that's left to do, sign it on some nice spot. And we're done. Spawn in inks and violator in pencils. Looks pretty cool, very dramatic. Violator stretching out his hand to reach for spawn. I hope you guys have been able to take something with you from this video. I tried to put in all the most important things you need to know for doing a great comic book drawing. If you want to deepen one of these subjects like rendering or cross-hatching, gesture drawings or where to put all those strong blacks, check out my tutorials playlist right here. I did a bunch of tutorials already, might want to be something there for you as well. You will be able to find a lot of in-depth videos for how to draw comics. So have a great day and see you in one of these videos.